Hello, Internet! Lambo here, and I'd like to welcome you all to a special installment of Painting the Talisman Saber Way, where in this and future episodes, I'll be going over how to paint up your sewer terrain to match the scheme painted by yours truly, as I did for my own personal set. This paint scheme is somewhat more involved than previous videos, and uses a wider palette of paint as well, as I was experimenting with speed paints when I created this scheme. But, if you're curious to learn about the steps I went through to paint up my sewer terrain, then this video is for you. So, without further ado, let's dive into painting sewer tiles. For this paint scheme, you'll need the following paints, or their nearest equivalents. A flat or matte gray primer. I used Army Painter Primer for my set. Deco Art Americana Bleach Sand and Snow White paints, uh, minus the Seven Dwarfs. The Army Speed Paint colors Mummified Grime, Gravelord Gray, Algae Green, Brownish Decay, and Rigor Mortis. You'll want a black and a brown wash. I use Citadel's Nolan Oil and Agrax Earthshade for my tiles. Finally, you'll want a matte varnish and some glossy Mod Podge. Now let's get painting. I was attempting to follow the basic principles of the slap chop method with the terrain tiles, at least initially, so I primed my tiles gray and then went about dry brushing a heavy coat of the bleach sand paint. I painted my tiles in three different styles for my sets, so I'm painting up one of each for this video. Next, I did a light dry brush highlight coat with the white paint. On to the speed paints. I started by painting all of the deep crevices of the tiles with the mummified grime color. You'll want a smaller brush for this step, but if the paint does get up onto some of the stones, don't worry, as sewer grime wouldn't really stay neatly in just the cracks anyway. For this first tile, I was going for a slimy algae covered tile look, so we're only going to be using the algae green color to cover all of the stones with. The next tile style was a mixture of the algae green, but also leaving some of the stones a uh, more gray color to represent the non-algae covered sections of the tiles. I tended to put the green color on the borders of the crevices to simulate how algae might grow out of moisture, but feel free to add and blend colors to your liking. The final style of tile, let's say that five times fast, incorporates some brown colors for some of the stones. I tended to pick out one or two of the smaller stones to paint with the rigor mortis color and two other larger stones for the brownish decay color. The remaining stones I would paint using the same green and gray method I used on the previous tiles. Thank you. 
Next, to darken up the stones a bit and bring the whole scheme together, I applied a mixture of about three parts Nolan Oil Wash and one part Agarax Earthshade Wash to all my tiles. I had actually mixed up a separate bottle of this mixture for this set, but I had already used it all up when I went to film this, and I wasn't about to mix another bottle just for these three demo tiles. Let the wash dry completely, then apply the matte varnish before moving on to this next step. When your varnish is dry, do a liberal application of the glossy Mod Podge to all of the crevices of the tiles. Once dry, this will give each of the tiles a slimy wet look in all those crevices, and it really adds to the damp sewer feel of the terrain set. Now just let your tiles dry one last time, and once complete, you'll have a nice looking set of slimy sewer tiles, perfect for any underground scenario you might want to create. Thanks for watching, I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to check out episode 8, Painting Sewer Walls. As always, happy printing, happy painting, and happy gaming. <laughs>